And um, so I will talk about uh, uh, period maps for curves, and uh, in particular, the setting uh, will be exactly the one described uh, uh, by Paola and Alessandro. Uh, so I will be very brief. Uh, I will just maybe recall what I need and uh, some notation. Um, so um, what we are looking at uh, is uh, uh, the moduli space uh, MG uh, of uh, curves, and uh, we are uh, looking at it uh, inside of the uh, moduli space uh, AG of uh, principally polarized abelian varieties uh, via uh, the Torelli map that associates to the class of a curve uh, the class of its Jacobian together with the, uh, the polarization given by the cup product. And uh, what we want to do is to study the geometry of this, uh, uh, the image of this map. And the way we want to do it is by recalling that uh, uh, this moduli space is a quotient uh, of uh, the Ziegel space um, by the action of SP to GZ. And um, uh, we want to recall that this is a, a symmetric space and uh, so in particular, it has a, a symmetric uh, Riemannian metric that is SP invariant and those uh, comes uh, down on AG. And uh, so the problem uh, we want to study is uh, to study the geometry, uh, so local geometry uh, of uh, J of MG uh, in AG. Uh, with respect to this uh, locally symmetric metric. Um, and um, so, uh, as Paula explained, this uh, uh, problem is uh, also related uh, to uh, the following question uh, Does uh, J of MG uh, contain uh, totally geodesic uh, um, sub varieties uh, uh, of AG? Uh, where uh, totally geodesic uh, is something in a G uh, that is uh, an, uh, an algebraic uh, sub variety and uh, it is totally geodesic. So it is pi of x, so this is pi, uh, where x uh, is a connected uh, um, totally geodesic uh, sub manifold of the Ziegel space. So this is also what uh, Bruno Klinger was calling uh, weekly special. And uh, so uh, as we have heard, uh, the expectation here uh, is uh, no. So uh, to be more precise, what we expect is that for a genus sufficiently high, there are no uh, um, totally geodesic sub variety of a G that are generically contained in the uh, Torelli image. And if you want, this is a uh, differential geometric version of uh, the coleman or conjecture that instead talks about uh, special sub variety uh, of a G generically contained in the Torelli locus. So in that case, here we are adding uh, an arithmetic uh, condition uh, that uh, uh, Z contains a complex multiplication point. So, um, Okay, so the first uh, thing uh, that uh, one uh, uh, can do to approach this uh, problem is to look uh, at the uh, second fundamental form of uh, uh, the Torelli map. And this is what uh, um, Alan and Alessandro uh, are uh, uh, talking about. What I want to do now uh, is um, I uh, want uh, to try to use, uh, uh, let's say, tools uh, from uh, the theory uh, of the symmetric spaces uh, um, to address uh, our problem, like even to our question. Uh, what do I mean with that? Uh, so the theory of symmetric spaces is, uh, uh, so the geometry is quite rich uh, and uh, essentially um, is uh, based on the fact that uh, um, so geometry of symmetric spaces 
um, can be described in terms uh, of uh, Lie theory. Um, and so before I make this uh, statement uh, more precise, so let me say maybe what is uh, the philosophy here. Um, the philosophy is um, essentially as in the theory of Lie groups. Uh, so here, what do we have? We have that if we take a Lie group and we take uh, the uh, uh, identity element, uh, then uh, the uh, tangent space uh, at the identity is not just a vector space, uh, but uh, uh, it is actually a Lie algebra. So it can be endowed with the structure, structure of a Lie algebra. And, uh, um, and one can read uh, geometric uh, properties uh, of G by algebraic properties uh, of its uh, Lie algebra. And um, so essentially the theory of symmetric spaces is, uh, is a more uh, elaborate version uh, of this. So, okay, let me record something. So a symmetric space um, X is a Riemannian manifold um, such that um, it can be written as follows. So if we fix a point X in X, then we can write X as a, a G mod K, where, um, so G uh, is a connected uh, Lie group. Um, K uh, is the stabilizer uh, of, for the action of G on X and is a compact uh, subgroup. And finally, uh, we have an involution of G um, such that uh, the group K is contained in the fixed point uh, subgroup uh, of G, so the elements of G uh, that are fixed by sigma and contains uh, it's connected uh, component of the identity. So uh, G sigma is going to have uh, possibly more than one connected component and uh, K is going to be a collection of those. Okay, so uh, one can give a definition of a symmetric space also um, in the, just in terms of uh, Riemannian geometry, but um, so here we have already a characterization in terms of Lie groups. Um, at the level uh, um, uh, of Lie algebras, what do we have is the following. So if we consider the Lie algebra of the group G, uh, then um, the differential of our involution give us a, an involution of uh, our Lie algebra. And uh, so we can decompose G as a vector space into the sum of uh, the uh, plus and the minus one eigenspaces of the, of the sigma. And uh, uh, since this is not just a linear map, but it really uh, behaves well with the, the Lie bracket, so we have that this decomposition has the following property. So K bracket K is contained in K, K bracket P is contained in P, and the K bracket, no, P bracket P uh, is uh, contained in K. Moreover, so we have that in particular K is an algebra itself, and it is the Lie algebra of K. We'll also use the notation is there any question? Oh, yes, yes, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Um, um, okay, I will also use this notation. And uh, okay, fine. And the property is that uh, uh, P uh, is isomorphic to the tangent of our symmetric space at the point X. So Okay, essentially what we have is that starting from our symmetric space, we uh, fix a point and we get a decomposition with these nice properties and this is called a fun 
uh, decomposition associated with the symmetric space. And again, uh, we have uh, this sort of dictionary between uh, geometric uh, uh, properties uh, of X and uh, algebraic uh, properties uh, of uh, the associated uh, Cartan decomposition. So in particular, um, uh, one can see um, uh, how uh, totally geodesic subvariety uh, are characterized in this uh, uh, dictionary. So we have uh, the following characterization. So if X is a symmetric space and uh, X prime is a connected uh, closed submanifold, um, so we fix a point uh, X in X prime, and uh, we look at the Cartan decomposition of X. And then the following are the equivalent. So one, X prime is totally geodesic. And two, X prime is X of A, uh, where A is a, a vector space of our tangent space uh, such that A bracket A bracket A is contained in A. And this is called a literal system. Okay, so here we can say totally geodesic correspond to literal system. Um, in other words, uh, um, uh, these uh, characterization tell us that uh, if X prime uh, is uh, totally geodesic, uh, then uh, if we look uh, at uh, its tangent space uh, in P, this is a Lie triple system. And uh, conversely, if I take a Lie triple system, then X of X of A is totally geodesic. Okay. Um, so, um, sorry. Oh yes, X prime. Thank you. Um, okay. So, in um, in other words, what we are saying is that if we want uh, uh, to study uh, the geometry of our symmetric space, and in particular, if we want to study its totally geodesic submanifold, what we have to do is to look at the behavior of the Lie bracket uh, on uh, the tangent space uh, of our symmetric space. Indeed, uh, let me remark that, that by this and uh, this property, uh, we get that uh, um, that the restriction of the uh, Lie bracket uh, to um, mark okay, the restriction uh, of the Lie bracket to the tangent of the symmetric space uh, uh, gives a map to this kind of operation that I will call the, the X that goes from the tangent to the Lie algebra of the stabilizer. And uh, so this is pointwise, if you want, globally we are looking at uh, a section of a vector bundle over X, and this vector bundle is uh, just uh, lambda chu of tx dual times s, because this is uh, anti-symmetric, and uh, s is such that uh, the fiber uh, at x is uh, gx. So what we want to do is to use, um, use uh, these tools uh, in our setting. Uh, so, in particular, this means in the case uh, uh, where X uh, is the Ziegel space. So, maybe I will uh, um, uh, briefly give some uh, more uh, detail on, uh, on uh, the Ziegel space as a symmetric space. Um, okay, so... Uh, we are in this setting, so uh, lambda is a rank 
uh, 2G lattice. Um, and we have an alternating form uh, Q uh, of uh, type uh, uh, 111. Uh, and uh, we call uh, V the uh, lambda tensor R. And um, uh, then I recall that uh, if I take uh, uh, a complex uh, structure on, uh, on V, um, complex structure, uh, then um, the following are equivalent. So one um, J respects uh, uh, the, the, um, uh, our symplectic form Q and two, um, gj defined as q of x jy uh, is symmetric. So then the Ziegel space uh, uh, associated uh, with uh, vq, sorry? Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's already in this. Uh, oh, no, um, this is just a, a remark. Then I am going to define the Ziegel space. Uh, okay, so. Um, the Ziegel space are precisely uh, the uh, complex structure. Yeah. Um, that preserves Q and such that uh, D is positive definite. Okay, um, so um, now if we look at the uh, symplectic group uh, that are uh, precisely the elements in GLOP that preserve Q, um, these act uh, on, uh, on the Ziegel space. Um, transitively uh, by, by conjugation. Um, okay, transitively. Uh, and, um, um, okay, so in our uh, uh, picture there, this is our G. Now we want to look uh, with K, so we fix some J in, uh, in the single space, uh, and we look at the stabilizer in one point. So who is this? These are the element uh, in uh, SP, such that uh, AJ, A minus one is J. And this is just uh, SP uh, intersected uh, with the, the orthogonal, orthogonal group uh, of V with, the, uh, with, the, with our, uh, Scalar product gj, and this comes from the fact that um, if a is a symplectic, and uh, if I denote uh, by atg the transpose with respect to this uh, gj, then a transposed is uh, just uh, j i minus one j minus one. Okay, so this is our k, and uh, now. To prove that uh, this is symmetric, uh, we need uh, uh, we need uh, an involution, and uh, okay. So this involution is given by uh, the map to the tens a to a minus one transpose, and uh, um, if this is sigma j, then uh, it's a uh, uh, fixed point group uh, is, uh, so this is just the element in SP such that uh, a minus one transpose is equal to a. And again, this is just SP intersected with the orthogonal group. So in this case, uh, we have uh, equality here and uh, so SP, is precisely the stabilizer, and this uh, proves that uh, 
uh, Ziegeli symmetric. So in particular, uh, uh, we have that uh, um, our bracket on the tangent space. Ah, okay, so if V is uh, R to G and uh, Q is the standard symplectic form, then uh, we just use the notation, uh, the usual notation. And um, so here uh, we have uh, on the tangent of the Ziegel space, uh, these uh, Lie bracket uh, operation that encodes information on the geometry uh, of uh, my space. So, okay, let me draw one more time our usual picture. So we have MG, AG, Eagle. Here we have some vector bundle and we have our B bracket. Um, that is a section of that. Again, this is a P invariant. So this comes down on, uh, on AG. And so for uh, X in IG, we have our, uh, again, uh, our uh, Lie bracket. But um, so uh, what we want to do is to study the, the geometry of the image uh, of MG. So what do we do? So the idea is that we can take X in MG and, um, and uh, look at the differential of the Torelli map. And um, what we want uh, to look at is um, mm, at uh, uh, the behavior of uh, the Lie bracket uh, on vectors uh, that uh, come uh, from the tangent uh, of MG via the differential of the Torelli map. Okay, so this object uh, gives me information on the local geometry of J of MG in G. That is precisely what we want to study. And this is just uh, essentially the pullback uh, of this tensor to MD at the point X. Okay. Um, okay, so let me make one remark. Um, so coming back to our uh, uh, question about uh, um, the existence of a totally geodesic uh, um, sub variety in, of a G that lie uh, inside uh, of uh, the Torelli image. Okay, so let me just recall the, that uh, Q. Um, um, this question via all this machinery of the theory uh, bring le leads uh, to the question Q prime does uh, DJ of Px of mg contain uh, this triple system. Okay. And um, so the result I want to present today, um, okay, theorem. And this is uh, together with Alessandro. Uh, is uh, a characterization of uh, this uh, tensor at the point X of MG in terms uh, of uh, the geometry uh, of uh, J of MG, no, of uh, G. Okay, um, okay, before I give the proper statement, uh, I will uh, have to introduce some notation. Are there any questions? No. Um, okay, if uh, C is our curve, I uh, will denote by C bar uh, the conjugate curve. Uh, this is just the same curve as C as a, a differentiable manifold, but has the opposite complex structure. So if C has a, a complex uh, structure J, 
then C bar as complex structure minus J. Okay, I will denote by Z the algebraic surface C times C bar, and uh, this comes with projection P and Q. And uh, I will denote by H the odd uh, Hermitian product um, on H naught of KC. This is just, uh, okay, if uh, omega and omega prime are two forms here, H uh, of omega, omega prime is just I integral of omega wedge omega prime bar. So, okay, um, what do we do now? We fix a, a unitary basis. Uh, omega one, omega g of uh, H naught of KC. And uh, we define form sum for i from one to g of P star uh, of omega i wedge Q star of omega i bar. Uh, this is um, an holomorphic form on Z and uh, it is well defined uh, and uh, it is called uh, the Bergman kernel form uh, associated uh, with uh, C. So this definition is due to Kobayashi and uh, he gave that for uh, any complex manifold. Okay. So now I can give the statement of the theorem. Um, okay, so we have our point uh, X uh, and G. And um, maybe let me denote by beta the pullback uh, of the daily bracket. And uh, so the theorem has a part one that says uh, that we can, uh, if we take uh, the dual of beta, uh, the dual map of beta at the point X, this uh, can be thought of as a map um, from uh, H naught of Z K Z into H naught uh, of Z to K Z. And uh, two, so with this uh, uh, description of domain and codomain, uh, this uh, is a, a multiplication map. So is let's say the multiplication map by uh, minus i k, where k is the Bergman kernel form. So <clears throat> this means that uh, beta x of if omega is inside here of omega is minus minus i k omega. So as in the um, the characterization of the second fundamental form, we have a part that uh, deals with the, uh, describing uh, domain and codomain as a spaces of section of some bundle over our surface. And then we have uh, the description as a multiplication map. And uh, so, okay, maybe I can say something about the proof. Okay, so, <clears throat> so, I will start with a remark uh, that is that uh, so the, 
the Lie bracket uh, is a, a real uh, object. And with that, I mean that uh, when we look at uh, the restriction of the Lie bracket on the tangent space of our symmetric space, this uh, tangent space is the real tangent space of our symmetric space. So in particular, uh, when we uh, look at uh, our Bx, uh, here we are looking at the real tangent space of the moduli space, and we don't like that. So the first step is to fix to fix that. Okay, so step one. And uh, so let me just uh, observe that if uh, this is the real tangent space, so then uh, if I look at its complexification, then uh, this is T one zero of AG uh, plus T zero one, and uh, this is our holomorphic uh, tangent space uh, that is uh, seen to uh, of H one zero of uh, A dual. Where, uh, so A is the uh, abelian variety that represents my point X. And uh, so what we do is to look at the complexification of, of, uh, of B, so proposition. I will, uh, are there any question? I will keep calling it uh, BX, uh, is uh, of type one one in the sense that uh, it uh, vanishes uh, on uh, vectors uh, of the same type. So we get that uh, our BX is a map actually from T one zero of a x and uh, t zero one. If I write just as t one zero bar uh, into the complexification of the x and uh, uh, we'll just say that uh, we have. Okay, we have identification. The first one I already said, so T10 uh, of AG is uh, sin2 of H10 AD1 and the GX complexification is endomorphism of H10. And so with this uh, identification, this Lie bracket, uh, we can show that this is just uh, uh, a map that sends TS into S bar composed T. <clears throat> so now, this fixes the situation, let's say, on, on AG. So we have now a nice description of the Lie bracket on AG. And uh, so step two is uh, to look at the pullback. So uh, um, so um, okay, we have our period map. And uh, so again, if X uh, is uh, in MG and um, uh, I denote by T X of MG, uh, the real tangent space, then this is uh, a T10 plus a T01. And uh, well, this is holomorphic, so it, this will send the, the one zero. So this is, uh, this is uh, C. This is uh, H1 of CTC. And uh, so this sends H1 of CTC into sin2 
of H naught of KC dual. And uh, okay, so there's a pullback uh, here at the point X uh, is a map from H1 of CTC times H1 of CTC bar to, uh, to uh, our GX, which is the endomorphism uh, of uh, H naught of KC, which we write just as H naught of KC uh, dual times H naught of KC. Okay. So then, um, if I uh, consider uh, the dual map of that, there's a map from uh, H naught of KC times, uh, well, H naught of KC dual, that we write like this uh, into H naught of 2KC times H naught. Sorry. Yes, but I'm uh, identifying the, the, the dual uh, with the. Um, okay, so now using uh, our notation with our curve C bar, this is just H naught of KC times H naught of KC bar, and this is uh, uh, H naught of 2 KC times H naught of 2 KC bar. And uh, finally, uh, going uh, on our surface, uh, C times C bar, this is H naught uh, of uh, Z, KZ. Sorry? Uh, because here, yeah, this is uh, H1 of CTC dual. Um, this is a H naught of Z to KZ. And uh, so this uh, proves uh, uh, the part one of the statement uh, which I erased. So the fact that uh, the dual uh, of uh, our uh, Lie bracket uh, um, can be thought as a map uh, from here to here. And the third part, so step three, uh, is to uh, prove that it is a multiplication map. So that, uh, um, that this is minus i k uh, omega. Okay, I will not uh, make the computation. I will just say that uh, uh, as in the second fundamental form, one uses uh, Schiffer variation to, um, to evaluate, uh, to show that these uh, uh, two forms are equal as the sections uh, of, uh, of, this, uh, of this bundle. Okay. Um, what I want to, so, this uh, theorem tell us that uh, um, the behavior of the restriction of the Lie bracket uh, um, on the tangent of Mg is uh, described uh, by the behavior of this uh, form uh, K. And uh, so uh, roughly speaking, this uh, tell us that uh, the local uh, geometry uh, of uh, uh, j of mg uh, in a g at the point 
uh, x uh, is described uh, by this form, um, by this form, which is the Bergman kernel. But uh, um, this is via the theory. Uh, what we uh, have also seen is that uh, uh, the second fundamental form is also a multiplication map, and uh, it is the multiplication by a, set, a form this time uh, on uh, on the surface uh, S, which is uh, C times C, and uh, delta is the diagonal. Uh, so this is the uh, second fundamental form. So we can wonder whether these two forms uh, have something to do with with uh, one another. The answer is yes. Um, so, in a, a recent uh, work uh, uh, by um, uh, Indranil uh, Bishwas, uh, Elisabetta Colombo, uh, Paola Frediani, and Gian Pietro Pirola, um, they studied. Uh, this form, not in relation with the second fundamental form, but in relation with the projective structure on curves. Um, so this is uh, something that uh, probably Paula will talk about tomorrow. But uh, in this paper, they so a separate thing in this uh, in this paper is that they study uh, the uh, cohomology uh, of this form uh, eta et, and uh, what they prove is uh, uh, is uh, this theorem. Characterization eta et is the unique up to multiple uh, element uh, in uh, H naught of S KS to delta such that uh, its cohomology class. in uh, H2 of S minus delta is uh, pure of type 1, 1. So they show that uh, the odd decomposition on H2 of S uh, um, induces a decomposition on uh, H2 of S minus delta so that this sentence uh, makes sense. And then they characterize it at, uh, like this. And uh, now, um, 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 now uh, I will observe something that uh, we are thinking about uh, our form uh, K uh, is defined like this, P star omega i uh, wedge to star omega i, and we are thinking bar, and we are thinking uh, at it as a an holomorphic section uh, on uh, on Z, but actually we can also think of it as a one one form on S. And uh, so when we think of this uh, like that, we get so again with Alessandro. Uh, so K is the one one harmonic uh, representative of uh, the uh, cohomology class uh, of uh, eta hat uh, in uh, H2 of S minus delta. So uh, we do have uh, this uh, this uh, relationship, and uh, so the hope is that uh, uh, this uh, helps uh, would help uh, to uh, maybe understand better the behavior of eta et, which is quite mysterious, and uh, possibly say something on this uh, problem. Thank <laughs> you.